Hi, my name is Kristen Ulmer. I'm a fear and anxiety specialist, and I want to give you an analogy for your life. Imagine your parent with a house full of children. Half your children you've named love, joy, forgiveness, gratitude. Half your children you've named fear, anger, sadness, doubt. Now, despite your best intentions, would you be able to treat them all the same way? Probably not. I found that there's two ways of living your life. The first way is where you love and feed and show off to the world these children over here. What do you do with these children over here though? You kind of put duct tape over their mouths, lock them in the basement, throw away the key, and you're up here on the surface living your life like this is who I am. But now imagine for a second what it's like to be one of those children down there in the basement. How are they acting? What are they doing? How would you feel if you were locked in a basement with no food, no water, no love, no sunshine? Well, they're screaming, they're yelling, they're really upset, they're doing anything they possibly can to get out. They're even going to burn the house down if that's what it takes. Consider now the second possible way of living your life, where you're instead willing to consider these children and take them out of the basement in order to see all that life has to offer, both the good and the bad. While that may seem counterintuitive, especially if you've spent your whole life avoiding, ignoring, controlling, or fighting these children, the good news is if you do this, the effects of that simple effort can be extremely profound. In fact, if you're willing to take these children out of the basement, a few amazing things happen. For starters, they'll no longer be operating in a dark, covert way from the basement anymore, coming out in crazy, irrational, immature, or redirected ways, causing you to feel confusion, conflict, or chaos. Two, you'll no longer have to work so hard to keep them down there. Imagine, in fact, how much energy you'll have freed up not fighting those wars anymore. Three, much like any child who finally gets your consideration, they will calm right down and no longer yell or act crazy or be a problem in your life at all. You'll actually end the internal war you have with yourself and find the peace you seek. And four, they'll then become instead assets and allies because from the basement you see only their pathology is obvious, but from a place of honor, instead their wisdom becomes available to you. In fact, if you do this, these children once out of the basement will actually enhance your life in ways you've never imagined before, helping you become more motivated, productive, focused, alive. Now, if the first approach to living your life isn't giving you the freedom, flow, and higher states of productivity and aliveness you seek, if while living this way your relationships, performance, or happiness feels compromised, or if you can use a major boost, consider trying this second approach to life, which I can help you achieve in about six hours of your time. I use a really fun and absolutely fascinating process that can save you years of conflict and tens of thousands of dollars you might otherwise spend on therapy to finally, easily, and permanently help you end the war with your shadow and set you free to be magnificent. Stop the madness of repression today by checking out my Work with Kristen page or click on any of the Learn More links below and let's get all the parts of you working for you, not against you, in the next phase of your life.